What's in the box? This is the brand new Thinkware U3000, and we're gonna go over what comes in the box when you get this new product. So this is pretty exciting. I'm putting a, a final production piece in my vehicle tonight. So we're gonna have some video by the end of the week comparing it to the Blackview DR970X, the Thinkware U1000, and the Viofo A139 Pro. So be prepared to see that because that's going to be happening very soon. But let's go over what's in the box with the Thinkware U3000. So first things first is the front camera. As you can see, a little bit different. It's got all the buttons right here. Record, power, Wi-Fi, and the microphone button on and off. All the plugins are right here on the top. You have the DC in, external, and the battery plug-in here. The battery plug-in is for if you get the iVolt extra power cell. Your rear video in for the rear camera is also there. Here's your front camera. And you actually just uh, change it like this is how you actually change the angle. So pretty cool. It's a totally different design than the Thinkware U1000 that you had prior. And uh, here's the rear camera. This rear camera also has radar in it as well. Um, and then you can actually just change the angle just like this. So pretty cool. And the side here is where you actually plug in to the cable for the rear. Now, obviously you need to mount it to the windshield. So it comes with a mount. And the mount actually just clicks in right on the top here, like so. And then you just slide it into place. Just like that. And then if you ever need to get your windshield replaced or need to mount it somewhere different, there's an extra piece of 3M tape that comes in the box. So in terms of actually running the wires and everything, here's your cable to go from the front to the rear. As you can see, They've actually gone with more of like a, a micro USB again, or like a, sorry, a mini USB again from the front to the rear. You have cigarette lighter plug-in for people who just want to plug right into the cigarette lighter. And it comes with the OBD2 plug. Now, I know I've seen a few people online talking saying, well, it doesn't come with a hardwire plug. So I'm not really too happy about that. Well, guess what? It's pretty simple here. Here's your actual fuse holders right here going in line to this. You just cut this off and then you have your power ground ignition right here. There's already fuses in line. So all it is is just cutting it off and now you have a hardwire cable. So those of you that don't want to use the OBD2 plug or maybe you got an electric vehicle and you can't use the OBD2 plug because it's not going to work for it. Well, at least I would imagine it's not going to work for it. Obviously, we'd have to test and find out. But realistically you can cut it off and hardwire it, no issues at all so see this right here this comes with a polarized lens in the box as well that can be applied to the front of the dash camera just to reduce glare and then a 64 gigabyte micro sd card so which is nice Think we're gone away from the standard 32 that they always give inside the box and they give a nice 64 gig. Um, if you are going to be installing it yourself, they also are including a little panel tool for pushing the wires in throughout the vehicle. And a new addition to some of the new cameras is heat blocking film. So this is actually, this will actually mount on the windshield. And then you're supposed to mount the dash camera to directly to this to block the heat so they can withstand a little bit more heat. And there's also the little connectors, which if you've ever bought a Thinkware product before, these just stick to the windshield and it's for uh, running the wires up nicely to the headliner. So that's what's in the box. If you are wondering about the performance of this unit, oh, and last but not least, the owner's guide, which we all know nobody's ever going to read these. But if you do, it is in the box. But And uh, hopefully by the end of the week here, we're going to have a video. But, uh, so I would definitely recommend watching for that if you want to see how this thing works. I did recently do a video on 
uh, parking mode and how the parking mode works. And it works pretty awesome, I got to say. Anyways, cheers.